opened the world of poetry to me and my children probably 10 years or more ago. So I consider her to be my mentor. And this is my first time to um, present in front of the open mic. Step into the crack. Black, white, brown, colors expressed all the time, as they should be. Let's talk about race. To consider what we share, to acknowledge what we don't, and to celebrate both. But liberty and justice for all? What does that mean for me, you, white one? Yes, I, we are members of white supremacy, which is not the KKK, but means I, we are privileged just for being white. Housing, employment, loans, salaries, education, health care, security, safety, fashion, media. Yes, I, we perpetuate racism by remaining silent. Fear, microaggressions, PTSD, police brutality, incarceration, voting restrictions. Yes, people who look like me, us, are welcome to this land of opportunity. I, we hold the power. Detained for crossing, families torn apart while seeking asylum, arrested for minor traffic violations, denied fair wages, considered worthless and dangerous. So, to be just, I, we have no choice but to be part of a radical change. Yes, I, we can't turn away when it's difficult. Yes, I, we need to use our two ears and one mouth in that order. Listen to non-whites, to our hearts. Yes, I, we need to apologize for so much. Let's start with slavery. Take responsibility, repair wounds, and all it takes to begin is one step and then another. Step into the crack toward the light. No need to feel shame. There is hope amidst the despair. Be an ally. Stand up for what's right, for humanity, for justice. Thank you. Let's quickly add my thanks to Cheryl and to Polly and to Peg for a beautiful morning. Uh, I think it was the poet Gary Snyder who said poets should be able to name things. Uh, in the Hots on the Coast, and I walk on a headland there, East Point, often. Last June I was walking and realizing I had been walking past all these wildflowers that were coming up. And I thought I knew their names, but I wasn't sure, and I gave myself a little course out of an old wildflower book. And this is the poem that came out of that. June Profusion. Daisy, yarrow, mullen, milkweed. Blousy ragosa, pink and white. Staghorn sumac with its corduroy upholstery. Green nubs smoldering red within and red clover, these I know, and also the woodchuck who runs away like a thief. On the fly leaves of my little book, sketches show flower types, panicle, corum, syme, raceme. Leaves can be perfoliate, sensile, lancelate, or linear. My old hound likes this project. I stop and study, she sniffs and sniffs. At last, she thinks, I've learned to smell the roses. But what I've long called beech pea is purple vetch. Cornflower is wild chicory, its blue rays square-tipped and smooth, not notched. And the New England aster is, alas, Philadelphia or common fleabane. Red Winged blackbird chides me. Arcs of a dozen pale violet blossoms, trumpet-shaped flowers with white lips, depend from a spray, gray beard tongue. Carpet of yellow stars, mossy stone crop. Little flowers blushing on stiff stems with Yes, tiny white spots in their throats, Deptford pinks. This sprig of yellow or green flowers 
Terminal cluster of small green or greenish white flowers. Check. Stem rising from a rosette of basal leaves. Check. Linear leaves narrowed at the base? If so, it is the lyre-leaved rock crest. Thank you. It's a great joy to be here, and I cannot believe my luck. I have one poem called Laughter. It begins with a prose passage um, that Bonnie pointed out to me one day, and I immediately seized it. Uh, and here it is. In, a, in, in a, the book, A Radiant Curve, Navajo Lucy Rapahanso writes that when a Navajo baby laughs for the first time, a joyful first laugh ceremony is often held right away, if possible within four days. This is because Navajos believe that first laugh marks the child's departure from the world of the holy people and his entry into the world of thinking, creation, childhood, and the sunrise. Andrea is a beautiful infant, dreamy and quiet. I love her completely. One day I come from the hallway to the living room where she sits in her playpen playing with this and that. As I enter, I trip on the rug. She looks up, startled. I know she likes it, so I go back, hide, then turn around and trip on the rug again. Her head jerks back. Again, her nose burbles. Again, a high sound squeezes from her chest. Again, her eyes light up. She grins. Again, a peal of laughter. Again, gales. Again, more gales, deeper. This time I wait a moment in full view, but she doesn't wait. She starts laughing before I trip. <laughs> it's likely minutes, but feels like hours, and it isn't just a laugh, it's a joke. Her first, she makes a joke. Somewhere near me today, she is still laughing. My just born daughter into the world of us. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. This is such a wonderful, such a wonderful uh, event. Oh, this is called Through the Tears. Oh, I lace up my ready walking shoes. And stride alone along the path I choose The way is steep and worn, I know it well The stepping stones that led me back from hell I'll walk at dawn, I'll walk on ice, I'll walk in rain I'll walk in grief, I'll walk for joy, I'll walk in pain I'll walk in autumn, winter, spring, I'll walk for years. I'll walk in storms and I will walk through the tears. Along the rocky trail I slowly find Pieces of my soul I left behind Although the summit calls I plainly see My destination is inside of me I'll walk at dawn, I'll walk on ice, I'll walk in rain I'll walk in grief, I'll walk for joy, I'll walk in pain. I'll walk in autumn, winter, spring, I'll walk for years. I'll walk in storms and I will walk through the tears.
I'm hiking up a stairway made of stone. I'm climbing with a friend, though I am alone. I'm pulled along by blazes on the trees. The longer on the trail, the more I'm free. I'll walk at dawn, I'll walk on ice, I'll walk in rain. I'll walk in grief, I'll walk for joy, I'll walk in pain. I'll walk in autumn, winter, spring, I'll walk for years. I'll walk in storms and I will walk. I'll walk at dawn, I'll walk in ice, I'll walk in rain. I'll walk in grief, I'll walk for joy, I'll walk in pain. I'll walk in autumn, winter, spring, I'll walk for years. I'll walk in storms and I will walk through the tears. Thank you. Thank you for singing. So happy to be here. I've really felt connected to everything everybody has shared um, today. It's just an amazing event. And thank you to Cheryl. Um, on the topic of back to what's going on in the world these days and immigration and children being separated from parents and all of that, um, I thought it was important to share this poem um, from the way I chose to look at this um, topic was to not discuss what separates us, but what brings us together and the similarities that we all share and that we've all had a long journey to get to where we are here today. And um, that's just something that we need to be reminded of, I think, at this time. So this piece is called Precious Ones. You were forged within the fires of generations past until malleable, cooled in the rivers, dredged from the mud, silt, and weeds, Nile tears rested upon your cheeks, cast into oceans, crossed over countless creeks, feet soft, though heart thickened from trudging across rough terrain. The wheat whispered the words from cotton breezes, sweetened the sugar cane. Wampum beads adorn your wrist. Energy from the ocean's core roars within, hidden amongst a northern Atlantic haze. Other perspectives at times too thin. Himalayan breezes and Sahara winds filled your sails. Caribbean squalls propelled you to these shores. Lungs expanded with courage needed to open unknown doors. Over rolling hills you came, over green and sand, similar topography, not so distant lands. Hurricanes brought you here, tides carried you in on persecution's waves you rode. Thunderous wars and famine's flow brought you here in droves. From all points of the Atlantic, across the Pacific and Mediterranean Sea, tiny grains came together to form many variations of beauty. Sand and ocean merged, and we were created, propagated, cultivated, then harvested from within the belly of a clam, the most precious of pearls from the waters of the world. Thank you.
Yes, this is a little little song for the road for everybody going off on their summer adventures until Wake Up resumes next fall. When I set out on a journey, and though the road be twisty turny, or the path be straight and narrow, there's one constant that I bring. Riding shotgun on the dashboard, facing backward, looking inward, my companion on life's highways, plastic Buddha on a spring. <laughs> oh, plastic Buddha, my companion, bring me joy and understanding, help me neutralize the tension as I navigate today. When a kid in a suburban cuts me off and takes my parking place, remind me of my inner peace as I go on my way. Bald of head and robe of yellow, he's a soulful little fella. He's bouncing on his spring to the rhythm of the road. His expression of serenity reminds me of what has to be. Helps me keep my sanity. Make sure I don't explode. Oh, plastic Buddha, my companion. Bring me joy and understanding. Help me neutralize the tension as I navigate today. When a Texan in his Lexus flips me off and takes the exit, Remind me of my inner peace as I go on my way. When I'm sitting in construction and sobbing in frustration and lights stretch to eternity, at least it feels that way. Plastic Buddha helps my patience keeps me calm, brings me acceptance. As I watch him do his spring dance, his gentle bob and sway. Oh, plastic Buddha, my companion, bring me joy and understanding. Help me neutralize the tension as I navigate today. When I'm trapped behind a folky, Driving slowly in his Prius, <laughs> remind me of my inner peace as I go on my way. I was playing with a bottle of um, soap bubbles, so things with a little wand inside of them. And the label on the back said it was made by the Chemtory Corporation. And, I'm, and I thought, chemical toys, there's an interesting thought. So I whipped off three verses very quickly, and then nothing for 30 plus years. <laughs> Sat there, couldn't think of any other verses, couldn't think of a melody for it, and I pretty much gave up on until about two weeks ago. I was playing with some chords, and a little melody came out. I started to sing along with the melody, and these words popped into my head, and finally it fit. So new verse, you know, Verses started coming out, I started singing in the car, and that's how we got to this. So this is called Chem Toy. Um, I'll mention this for 30 years, it's been sitting in a folder of mine called Protest Songs, so take the lyrics with that in mind. And appropriately, since it's a toy song, I'm playing it on a toy guitar. <laughs> Literally bought this at Toys R Us. So this is Chem Toy. Got a chemical toy It's just a thing for a modern boy I've got a chemical toy How about you? I've got a plastic friend Be there with me to the bitter end I've got a plastic friend How about you? 
I still remember how we all used to play From early morning through the end of the day Now we're playing in a whole new way, don't you see? Fun with technology I've got a virtual pet He's always loyal, hasn't left me yet I've got a virtual pet, how about you? I've got a social net, a thousand friends who I've never met. I've got a social net, how about you? I still remember all those ads on TV. Without chemicals, life wouldn't be. I guess that's true, and I guess I can see how we can have fun with technology. smart device just say her name and she treats me nice i've got a smart device how about you i've got an inflatable love she's virgin vinyl and she fits like a glove i've got an inflatable love how about you i've got a chemical toy I've got a chemical toy I've got a chemical toy How about you? Woo! Thank you. Um, so I have a poem that I wrote, I don't know, I, I'm still writing it, it's still in progress. I read it a couple of years ago here and it's a lot different now. It's a kind of a tribute to one of my favorite poets, and it's called uh, Free Verse. In my dream last night, all the words still in print had ripped themselves out of the pages, demanding their freedom. Remembering that I have a lot of books, I rushed down the stairs as fast as I could. Imagine my relief when the only thing amiss was a poem by Billy Collins playing cards in the kitchen. Each line of verse was in its own chair except the ones that rhymed, and they were sitting together. A tall one resting on a semicolon cushion played a high heart from his hand full of metaphors, and the others tossed in their weakest words as if conceding the trick. Interrupting as politely as I could, I welcomed them to the world of three dimensions, asked them not to smoke, and offered them a room inside my Kindle. But away they went all at once back into the safety of their book. <laughs> my selection today has become my autobiography called Crazy. I think I'm crazy, zany, slightly insane, a chronic neurotic in my own domain. Cuckoo, bananas, cuckoo. I laugh and cry so much I'm nuts inside. I need a vacation and way better medication. So I see things others don't. I let you in on a little secret. Just because you don't see them doesn't mean they don't exist. And I see a whole lot of things a whole lot different. Just the type of guy I am. I like to cook and sew and use a chainsaw. I wear clogs, use hand lotion, and carry a man bag. I work out with iron abs, a 48 shoulder, and a mean left hook. I don't take flack from anyone because I don't have to. Just the type of guy I am. So shut up. Get out of my face. Don't mess with me. Whoa, Richard. Maybe you've had one too many. I don't drink. Maybe you should. Shut up, subconscious. Can't you see I'm busy? My plate's full. My, my plate's full. Chip broken. My set don't match. Too many containers and still no lids. What, what I need is quiet. Real quiet. Maybe my wife was right. 
I need professional help. To consider it would be crazy. To not consider it would be more crazy. Yeah, Doc, I know, I know, but stop writing and just listen. If the Hubble telescope could see life forms thousands of light years away, and we here on Earth are still making babies, then it reasons to reason that I am bi-terrestrial. Not bisexual, bi-terrestrial. Yeah, I know, Doc. My 45 minutes are up. But one last thing. To imagine, to create something from nothing, to see it so clearly when no one even knows there's something to see? Loco? I hope so. Because crazy might be the only thing that keeps this guy sane. Thank you. Last night you died. You phoned always at the end of your workday. Quote, I'm leaving now, Lieb. Anything you'd like me to bring? No, nothing, Lieb. The usual exchange. By the way, I didn't remember ever hearing that exchange, so it was very special to me. I put the roast in the oven. In time, it is done, and well done. You have been discovered, or, I'm sorry, unconsciously at your desk. By the time I have told those who should be told, you are no longer ill. Sign your name on the wind, then I'll let you know which way to follow you. How silent my body feels, hush of my shoulders, upholding the weightlessness of loss. A giant moon, I need more light to free the stone from its shadow. Peach and pear, apricot, then there.